This is ETV, sponsored locally by the Boise Weekly, Radio Boise, and KBOI TV Channel 2. Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. We're going to jump right into the movies with three new releases hitting theaters and the re-release of a Disney classic. To tell you which ones are worth checking out, here's Sean McBride, the movie guy. I drive for you. You give me a time and a place. I give you a five-minute window. Anything happens in that five minutes, and I'm yours, no matter what. I don't sit in while you're running it down. I don't carry a gun. I drive. In the new movie, Drive, Ryan Gosling plays a Hollywood stuntman who takes a side job as a getaway car driver. When a heist goes wrong, the bad guys decide that the stuntman now knows too much and he's literally got to drive for his life. 911, what's your emergency? There are five men with guns outside. Straw Dogs stars James Marsden and it's the story of a man who moves his family to a dream home in the Deep South. Tensions build between the man and the locals, leading to a late night conflict with the man desperately trying to protect his family from the good old boys gone very bad. Obviously the best film of the week, Walt Disney's The Lion King gets a two week only 3D run at the theaters in advance of the new Blu-ray release. Hey, if you've got kids who never saw this film in theaters, how can you go wrong with The Lion King? I don't know how she does it. All those children. I, I have two. So impressive. You have four. Yeah, but two of my twins. I don't know how she does it with Sarah Jessica Parker playing a woman who wants to have a super career and a super family life, and that seems to be more than this woman can handle. You must be completely exhausted. Not Completely. And that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. And four new films. Sean McBride, the movie guy here, fills us in on the good ones. Yeah, and it's actually, there is a good one out this week. Uh, I would say check out Drive, Ryan Gosling's film. It's a sort of surprise to see a pretty good little action thriller. You know, I mean, it's got the action with the chases and stuff, but it's got the, you know, Ryan Gosling's a very good actor. He is. And so it's kind of nice to see that. Um, I would say the one not to check out is... Uh, I don't know how she does it, or as I'm calling it, I don't know why she does it. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, God love the woman, but she's just not making good movies. So uh, I, I just I think that is one to skip. And then obviously The Lion King. Right. If your kids haven't seen The Lion King. It, you know, I mean, it's only out for two weeks. It's on 3D, but spend the money. It's a great theater, theatrical experience for the kids. And what have we got at the flicks? Over the flicks, uh, two new films, uh, The Names of Love. This is a comedy about a French Algerian woman who aims to convert a right-wing man to her liberal ways by seducing him, but then she meets her match when she meets a conservative French Jew. Uh, and then also we have The Future, uh, which stars filmmaker and performance art artist Miranda July. Uh, she previously did Me, You, and Everyone We Know. It's the story of a couple who adopt a cat and end up rethinking their lives and their attitudes towards each other. Um, obviously very quirky, but fans of Miranda July, uh, and she has a lot of them, uh, they just love her for that quirkiness. Now, there's a special screening going over at the flicks. The music never stopped. This is the story of an estranged father and son, a brain tumor that uh, separates them, and then their journey to find a common bond through music. The film looks into the world of music as therapy, and so um, proceeds from the screening benefit the Marina Healing Arts Foundation, a local nonprofit that that's focused on improving patient care and supporting artist training in expressive art therapies. Tickets are 12 bucks in advance at Dunkley Music or at the door at the Flicks. Sounds like a great film with a great cause. Yeah. And then what about a DVD? DVD, obviously the big one this week is going to be Star Wars on Blu-ray. Uh, no. Yeah, but, yes, exactly. <laughs> or no. Hey, by the way, if you're thinking about getting Star Wars on Blu-ray, you should go to R.C. Willie on Thursday. There'll be a costume contest, free food, prizes. Plus, those who show up in Star Wars costume can buy the Star Wars Blu-ray pack for just 79 bucks. That's like 60 bucks off the regular price. But uh, also we have Thor coming out, Conan O'Brien Can't Stop, a favorite of mine. Uh, some pretty good stuff, and then a whole bunch of TV seasons getting ready for, for the fall TV season. Very cool. And then uh, local theater. Local theater, we've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's start over at Prairie Dog Theater, Twilight. Uh, that runs through October 29th, Prairie Dog Theater. Tickets and information at 336 Pete. Knock 'em Dead is also opening up in uh, Oklahoma. And that is Thursdays through Fridays. Get tickets and information at kedproductions.org. Final weekend for Rumors over at Boise Little Theater, uh, 342-5104 or boiselittletheater.org. I saw that this past weekend. A lot of fun. Go check them out. Neil Simon's Play. 
And then a final weekend also for the Laramie Project, 10 years later, Daisy's Mad Hass Theater. It's uh, actually playing at the Idaho Outdoor Association, though. Um, so you can get tickets at 995-0088 or daisysmadhouse.org. And then finally, the 39 Steps, Idaho Shakespeare Festival, running through September 25th. Tickets and information, uh, probably go to idahoshakespeare.org. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Sean. We appreciate the update on all that. Sure. Cool. Well, stick around. We have more ETV coming.